a company comes in, they sit down, and everybody around the table kind of puts their wish list on the spec. And they're gonna deliver to me what is essentially a spec for a tank. And not only that, but it needs to go 75 miles an hour through the desert. If you take that approach, everything has to be spec'd out. You spend a lot of time at the very beginning trying to kind of guess almost at what you're gonna need down the road. I come in and I say, but what you really need is to start moving down the road, right? And they say, yeah, but we need the 50 cal and we need the big gun. I'm like, yeah, but, but really, like right now what you need is you need to start going down the road. So the first thing that I wanna do, I know you want the tank. If I could get you a roller skate and that would get you starting to move down the road, moving along better than what they're moving along now walking. Then they say, yes, it would look like X. And so, okay, that's my, that's my roller skate. So as soon as phase one is delivered, we're already starting to work on phase two, which is the skateboard. The customer in the meantime, as we're building the skateboard, the customer is using the roller skate version. They learn things about it. They help us tweak it. They help us develop it. Sometimes they even realize as they use it that what they thought they needed at a business level is starting to change because they're able to use the product. And so we continually do this. We go to the skateboard, we do the motorcycle, we do the car. And ultimately at the end of the day, what we deliver is a milk truck. It looks nothing like a tank. That learning process and that iterative process and that refining process means that what you deliver is almost exactly what the customer needs, but nobody at the beginning would know that a milk truck is what they need. The only way that you get there is by taking small chunks and learning along the way.